I am so excited about today's video. Today I'm going to do a sort of like organization home tour and I'm gonna show you all the ways that I use dollar store products to organize my home. Today's video is actually a collaboration with the amazing Kimmy from She's In Her Apron and Annie from Annie Simple Life. I love both of those channels so much, so make sure you check out their videos where they are reorganizing one space in their house using only dollar store products. One of the best finds at the Dollar Tree are these great drawer dividers. They come in so many different sizes and shapes. I even got these little battery organizers from the Dollar Tree. These drawer organizers are a lifesaver. You can use them in basically any drawer in your home, but I especially like them for junk drawers or office drawers to corral all the stuff. And add a little label maker to the different sections and you'll make sure you stay organized for good. Another dollar store product that I love are these food organizers. Again, this one's from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not one of those people that takes all the box things out to put them in other plastic containers. That's weird. But the thing is, especially with crackers and things like that, this can hold two of these. And you're not having a bunch of like half filled cracker boxes in your pantry taking up space. You can just have one little cracker bin. So this saves a ton of space, plus it keeps them fresher. So these for your food are always a good purchase. If you're not using dollar store bins to organize your food storage containers like your Tupperware, what the heck are you waiting for? Having it in a bin, these are from the dollar store, having this in a bin, like all of these little things makes it so much easier to make lunches, pack up leftovers, and it keeps it really neat and organized so you're not having like a bunch of things all falling over. And another trick that I do is I'm just using one of these little dollar store, it's actually from the dollar store. I think it's like a for paper, it's like one of these little racks for all the lids so all the lids are stored separately right on the door I am obsessed with drawer organizers from the dollar store but I just use some industrial velcro here it's really easy to take it off and then put it back on to um, make the most of my inside of my cabinet spaces to hold these little drink squirters and other things like that and I also love dollar store jars to hold your different teas I just love my little cleaning closet here. So in the hall closet, I have half of it for extra clothing and half for all of my cleaning supplies and extra odds and ends. These Dollar Tree baskets are so bright and fun and I use Dollar Tree labels just so I know what's inside all of them. All the cleaning supplies, extra light bulbs, manuals, just everything is stored but it's also really pretty and done on a really small budget. These dollar store shoe boxes are pretty much perfect for every organizing style. Because they're clear, even butterflies can use them. You put a nice big label on the front, everyone will know what's inside and they look really nice all lined up together. For a dollar, you cannot beat this quality. They stack so nice and I use them for things like all the manuals in the house extra K cups, all those extra little things that you're like, where do I put this? dollar store shoe boxes. One of my all time favorite dollar store products are these canvas bins. Yep, they were $2 from Dollarama here in Canada, but I've also seen them at the Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, those are a steal. You're gonna pay $5 or more at any other big box store. They're really good quality and they're perfect for things like this. If you're lazy like me and you wanna just toss in your kids' blankets or even use it as a dresser on a bookshelf, I love these bins so much. They're great for toys, they're great for clothes, they're great for towels, they're great for everything. And I've been using these for four years now and they're still in perfect shape. My go-to organizing product has got to be these white woven, they look like fake wicker bins. I think they're perfect for medicines, makeup, anything that could spill or make a mess because you can easily wipe them out, but they still look really pretty. Add some labels and you can organize just about any space. I also use the same exact bins in my kitchen, especially, they especially work for things like spices. I love that you can just bring up the spice bin, put it right on the counter when you're cooking and then put it back when you're done and you don't have to root through the cabinet. Last but not least, I wanted to show you the baking cupboard. You can get 3M hooks at your local dollar store, again, a ton of more food containers and those same white plastic containers and all the labels are from the Dollar Tree. 
So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're feeling inspired to make a trip to your local dollar store and organize something today. Don't forget to check out Kimmy and Annie's video. I'm gonna put the link to those below. I know I cannot wait to see what they organized with dollar store products. So thanks again so much and I'll see you next time. So thank you guys so much who have stayed to the end. I wanted to introduce you to Kermit the Frog. Uh, Kermit has two cages. He has one here in the kitchen and one downstairs in Abby's room because he's Abby's bird. And I forgot to put him downstairs <laughs> for the last couple of videos. Please. You can hear him in the back room. He's a big talker. He's like, chirp, 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 chirp. Uh, I, I love birds, so I love the sound. He's a little nervous with the light, I think, <laughs> in the camera. Um, I love the sound of birds, but I, it's probably distracting. And you're probably like, put that bird downstairs if you're watching this video. So sorry about that. So I apologize. I wanted to introduce him. He is six months old. I have to lock the cats and the dog up when he comes out, but I am kind of obsessed. I know it's Abby's bird. I know it's Abby's bird, but I love him. I love him so much. So a lot of the times he'll sit on my shoulder while I like clean the house and he like loves to eat my hair and we hang out a lot. This bird and I, he's my bud. And I, that's sad. I know it's kind of sad, um, but I just, I'm, I'm a huge bird lover. Maybe the reason I got Abby a bird was because secretly I wanted a bird. Um, but either way, he's super cool. So I had to share him with you. I also wanted you guys to put a comment below of some video ideas that you would like to see. I'm running out of ideas here. I say this all the time, but like I've just done organizing videos for so long. I really would love to do other people's homes uh, and just organize from scratch. But the problem is there's not that many people who are totally okay with me videoing their, their messes. Uh, you'd think there'd be so many, there's not that many people. So um, I need some ideas and I've done this for so long. I'm not sure what you guys want to see anymore or what type of videos I should make. So make sure you put those in the comments below, whether it's more DIY or decorating or organizing or just rants about Donald Trump. No, you'll never see that on this, on this channel. I'd love to, but I've done that before and it didn't end well. <laughs> Never talk about religion or politics, especially with strangers where you'll get death threats. It wasn't pleasant. Anyways, so <laughs> let's just, anyways, I'll, I'll see you next time. Can I just brag about this bird for a second? <laughs> he's six months old. He is such a good, he's nervous. He hates the camera. He is such a good talker. He says like so many cool things. I just love pets. Uh, Joe's not a big fan. Before I met Joe, I had like a six foot iguana and I had birds and um, fish and just, I've had every kind of pet. And if it was up to me, we'd have chickens and bunnies and everything. I'd be like that crazy animal hoarder. We already have two cats, a dog, fish, and a bird. I can guarantee I'd have more if it wasn't for Joe. He's, and, and he's right, we love to travel. So when we, like we go to Disney for two weeks, we have to pay someone to come in our house. We could board the dog, but we can't board the cats. They're too old. And what do you do with the bird and the fish? And it's just so, we have to pay someone so much money to come and stay in our house just to take care of the pets. And we travel all the time. Every time I bring home a new pet, he's like, well, that's 10 more years. We're not going anywhere good. We're not, you know, sailing across the world or something. Cause uh, I, got, I got animals here that need taken care of, uh, but I just can't help myself. How cute is he?